Hi, Gloria Reben here, and I'm very excited being with you here today because today we're going to talk about how you can build a huge business in your network marketing. There's only two things you need to know, and I'm going to tell you what that is today, and I'm going to draw you a little diagram and to show you how that really works. You know, most people really don't know what network marketing is, and you need to let them know that. You need to train them. Uh, you know, it's not about the products, it's not about the company, it's not about the pay plan. And although you may be sold on all those with your company, as I am with mine, that's not what you lead with. You have to lead with what is network marketing. It's not about selling. It's not about recruiting. People have that misconception, even network marketers. Selling and recruiting is what salespeople do. And salespeople are very often not that successful in network marketing. So there's only two things that you have to learn to do. And the one is to sponsor, and two is to train. So let me show you how that works right now. I'm going to draw you a little diagram. And the little diagram is you enroll two people. Okay, it starts with you. You're a sponsor now. You've learned how to sponsor. So you enroll two people. Then you have to train those two people how to find and enroll two people. So then you have a business of four people. Not much, but it's a start. Okay, you train those four people with the help of now your, your two people who are learning as well how to enroll two people. And then you have eight people. Okay, then you help those eight people learn how to sponsor, learn how to enroll people, and you have a business of 16 people. Well, 16 is not very big. I mean, you're probably getting some trickle money coming in, but it's not huge, okay? But we don't stop there, because then we enroll another person. So what happens when three people enroll three people, and you have nine, and they enroll three people, and then you have 27, and they enroll three people, and you have, a now I have to do the multiplication the old-fashioned way, 21, 81. Now your business is beginning to grow. You see something is really happening. And what have you done? And what has everyone in your business done? Enroll one person. That's all, just one. Okay, so now... Let's see what's happened at the, at the four level. So four, who get four, that makes 16 in your business now, who get four more. Now remember, these people are learning to sponsor. 24, you have 64, and then four there, and you have 16, 24, 25, you now have 256 people in your organization, and you're beginning to see some real things happening, some real growth. And what have you done? You rolled one more person. So let's take it one more. So we have five people who get five. By now, they're being trained here. So you have 25 people here who get five. That's 25, 10, 12, 125 who get five, what have you got? 625 people in your organization. And all you did was start out with those two, train those who get two. As soon as you train a marketer to be able to do that and to be able to teach other people, then you can go on and start building six, seven, eight, what, whatever you're going to build. But you need to start with only five. Taking off more than five and begin sponsoring all over the place. As soon as you find your five people who are teachable, they don't have to be strong network marketers. They just have to be teachable. And that is the power of network marketing. It's not about sales. It's about sharing. It's about be learning to become a sponsor and teaching your people to become a sponsor and spending more time on them than you do on sponsoring other people. Now, it may take you a while to find those five people, those strong five people, and you may be sponsoring other people in the meantime who turn out not to be those strong people. Chances are they're going to fall away, but don't worry about that. They'll be customers for a while. So this is the real power of network marketing. 
and join me for the video tomorrow where I'm going to show you what happens when you and I always use the word recruit because what a salesman used when you introduce a salesperson who's used to recruiting into the business. He or she is not a lost cause, but you have to teach them. Okay? So thank you very much and see you again tomorrow. Bye.